Check this out guys, a beautiful bowl of Vietnamese pho using baby back ribs, 30 minutes in your pressure cooker. You can do this at home. All right, let's get right into the recipe. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need is a rack of baby back ribs. Why? Well, because I'll tell you. First of all, in order to make a really good broth, you need bones, you need cartilage, you need a little bit of fat, and you need nice meat for the finished dish. And baby back ribs have it all. So, cut these up into double riblets. And here we go, cut up. Now these will go into the pressure cooker. Next up, we have three star anise pods, we have some cinnamon sticks, we have salt, and we have sugar. Our next ingredients are half an onion quartered and we have two pieces of ginger. You can just put these in the pot, but if you want really authentic Vietnamese pho flavor, you're gonna need a torch. And we're just gonna singe these until they're a little charred. All right, and that's the nice char that you want. It's gonna give it a really special flavor. All right, so in they go. And now we're just gonna fill it up until the water just covers all the ingredients. And I'm gonna cook it on high pressure for 30 minutes. If you're new to pressure cooking or you've never used a pressure cooker, you can watch my other videos on how to use a pressure cooker, but I'm going to assume in this video that you already know. Okay, so while you have everything in the pressure cooker coming up to temperature, what do we do about the noodles? First of all, these are rice stick noodles. I buy the size small. These are usually what you get at a pho restaurant. And these are really easy to prepare. I have a bowl here with just hot water from the tap. You don't need boiling water, just get hot water from your faucet. And all you do is just drop your noodles in the water. In 15 minutes or so, they're gonna be nice and soft. All right, 15 minutes has elapsed. Look at these, they've expanded and they're all nice and soft now. Well, semi-soft, okay? You couldn't eat these right now, but they're about 90 seconds away from cooking. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. Now here I have my garnishes. I always have this kind of stuff in my fridge. So we need something crunchy. So if you don't have bean sprouts, thinly cut red onion will do the trick. Some nice chopped up scallions. Um, I didn't have any Thai basil, but cilantro goes great in pho. And of course, at the end, right before you eat it, you need a little squirt of something acidic, which goes really great with that salty and sweet taste. And we have some limes. And of course, what's pho without a little hoisin sauce and some sriracha? Okay, this is like a hot dog with no mustard and no ketchup, okay? If you have pho, you have to do the hoisin and the sriracha. Now, another optional step you can take is while this is boiling, just before you put the lid on the pot to pressure cook it, you see all the scum? You can just, oh, not the cinnamon stick, you can get all the scum and just sort of skim it off and that's gonna make your broth a lot clearer. All right, look at this, 30 minutes in the pressure cooker. Look at this beautiful broth. All right guys, so what's next? Get yourself one of these. And what you do is remember these noodles over here? Okay, you just wanna get like a whole handful of them and just drop them into your little basket here. Now the broth in this pot, even though it's not boiling right now, is still really, really hot. So I'm just gonna move a couple of these ribs aside and you just dip your little basket into the broth like this, okay? And you just wanna let those noodles steep probably for like 15 seconds. Okay, now's the best part. This is the part where we get to eat. All right, so you put your noodles into the bowl, put some of these fall off the bone ribs right in there. And now I put in my broth. And guys, 30 minutes, but all that flavor is just going to be amazing because I have all those star anise, I have the cinnamon, that really nice charred ginger. This is going to be quite something. I have not forgot the fish sauce. I put this in at the end just to give it a little bit of a salty flavor. Look at this baby. This baby loves fish sauce. Look, he just 
He's just all about it. This baby just eats fish sauce all day long. And I'll tell you something about babies. Babies won't eat something if it sucks. So this is it, guys. Golden Boy brand fish sauce. Put a couple of squirts in there. And now for our garnish. So I'm going to put some of these nice onions here. Some fresh scallions. I like to break up the cilantro around the bowl. And of course, you gotta squeeze some of that fresh lime juice in here to give it a little bit of acidity. That brings it all together. All right guys, this is for Dirk Wiggler, who said, why don't we ever see you eat anything that you make? All right, so this is for you, Dirk. Oh, look at this. This is the best part about making YouTube videos. You get to eat all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, that broth is so good. It's so nice and silky because we have all the, um, we have all that collagen from the ribs kind of just melted in here. And you can do it in 30 minutes like I just showed you. Mmm. So good. Get some of this pork here. Mmm. Oh man. Look at these. They just like fall off the bone. So much flavor in there. Mmm. -hmm. And yes, I do know that I eat like I got it just got out of a Russian gulag, according to my wife. But hey, I'm hungry. I've been working on this for you guys for like an hour. Mmm. So smooth. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching another video here on Food Chain TV. Your subscriptions help me keep making videos like this for you. Until next time, I hope you enjoy your fa. Let me know in the comment section how it went, and I'll see you later. Mm.